Here are the starters for race 11 at the Illinois State Fair. Number one, that was only choice, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Pinsky. Dale Heitman is up. Here's 1A, definitely, maybe, owned by Bob Waxman, trained by Irv Miller, Dave McGee in the bike. Two is Democritus, owned by Triple E Stable of Norridge, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Number three, Winchester's Best, owned by Larry and Gary Northrup of Winchester, trained by Sean Walker, Tony Morgan, the driver. Number four is Sandmaster, owned by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Tony Bell, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number five, The Black Cat, owned and trained by Harry Von Knobloch of Moni, Brent Holland is the driver. Number six will be Spec D Delivery, owned by Don Laufenberg of Highland, Wisconsin, trained by Lloyd Dalton, Ken Holliday is the driver. Number seven is Fox Valley Luxor, owned by Roger and Don Sampson of Long Grove, Rucker Stable Incorporated of Beecher, and Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove, trained by Katrina Rucker, Mike Osting is up. And number eight, Prayer Warrior, owned by Tom and Sally Mae Amundsen of Clinton, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Jesse J. DeLong. Five minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and Winchester's best is first away. Only Choice gets away second. The Black Cat comes out third. Fox Valley Luxor is off stride and threw his head number as they went down into the first turn. Up front, Winchester's best gets over toward the rail, leads it by a length and a half. Only Choice will go second by a length. Definitely, maybe, is parked and moving up third around the Black Cat. Then Democritus, Sandmaster, Spec D Delivery is 10 lengths off the early lead. Prayer Warrior next to last, and Fox Valley Luxor trails. Opening quarter, 27 and two-fifths seconds. Here comes Definitely, maybe, on the outside to put ahead in front. Winchester's best is second by a length and is followed by Only Choice. Then the Black Cat, three more lengths. Back to Democritus, who's sitting in the center of the pack, eight lengths off the leader, and is followed by Spec D Delivery, Sandmaster on the inside, then Fox Valley Luxor and Prayer Warrior is last, the half in 55 seconds. Racing into the final turn, definitely maybe, has made the top by a length. Winchester's best is second a length. Only Choice goes third by a length. Spec D Delivery fourth, and here comes Only Choice. Only Choice is off the rail from third into second and up to challenge for the lead. Midway on the final turn, Only Choice leads at a half length. Definitely maybe is second, and Spec D Delivery is third up on the outside. Now one length off the lead in the second position. Here comes Winchester's best off the rail from fourth, and then the Black Cat followed by Democritus. Three quarters, 124 and three. Spec D Delivery on the outside is up to challenge Only Choice, moving by the eighth pole. Winchester's best is third into the home stretch. Spec D delivery. Winchester's best in the center of the track. Only choice toward the rail. Democritus fourth. Winchester's best goes gushing by on the outside for the victory. Winchester's best gets clear by three and a half. It was Spec D delivery second. Only choice was third. Democritus fourth. And the time was 152 and two fifths. Into the winner's circle for race 11, the unofficial winner, number three, Winchester's best, Tony Morgan, the winning driver, Sean Walker, the winning trainer. Two-year-old gelding by Sportsmaster, owned by Larry and Gary Northrup, who bred this two-year-old out of the hit-the-bid mare, Sure Fine Sugar. Result is still unofficial. Well, when you talk racing families in the state of Illinois, the name Walker also comes to mind. Roots in Carrollton, Illinois. We heard from some folks from Greene County earlier when the Grumbles were down here. Sean, have you ever trained a state fair heat winner before in the Colt Stakes? Uh, no, not in the Colt Stakes. I had a trotter two years ago, but it was just in the Isobas. 
correct me if I'm wrong, Tom is your father, Larry would be an uncle, Bob Walker would be an uncle. My cousin Jeff's mom, Trish, is my aunt. That's right, Jeff Driscoll would be a first cousin. Another family affair at the Illinois State Fair. Folks are learning, if you didn't know it already, Greene County has a really strong harness racing community. And who's the young man? My boy, Nathan. Nathan is how old? Uh, 14 months. 14 months old, another future horseman. Nathan, nice to meet you. Sean, congratulations. All right, thanks. Sean Walker and his son, Nathan.